smart about done it. <laughs> I tell you one thing. George did buy something good here for once. <laughs> Look at it. It's working treat. So I got asked by George to move the muck out of here because he's getting a bit full and move it over to well, the muck keep down in the field. And he actually went and bought, would you believe it? A brand new muck grab. Which is what we're using right now. And yeah, for something that George doesn't normally do, which is buy something brand new. But he did buy it. <laughs> I mean, I had to even ask for the receipt just to make sure he did. <laughs> but no, yeah, it's working a treat. And with us moving this muck out, I think it's easier than grabbing the bucket. Because really, we don't want to be mixing the two. And this is designed just for it. I think that money I've been earning from the bales. Well, you can tell that George is uh, yeah, starting to spend bits of it because he's actually made a few improvements to the farm. And in his words, it was to increase the value. <laughs> Which, probably it's done. I wouldn't know the details. I don't even know how much he's valued at the farm. He's definitely valued it quite a bit from what he's making out. We'll go have a look at that in a second. Let's just start picking up some of this muck. Because, yeah, I do want to try and take it down. We have got a bit of a busy day. We're supposed to be heading out soon. Let's head up to, well, around Brixie's neck of the woods. So, yeah, things are going to get busy. And it's been a busy few weeks. It really has. We've got so much dawn. You wouldn't believe. You really wouldn't. And I think it all stems down from the fact I was driving through the field. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, maybe it's a good thing in the end, especially if it's increased the value. And if we were going to stay in this farm, personally, I think it's a good idea anyway. It's a bit of a tight squeeze here. Yeah, it's a good idea because we did need a through path. We were taking it anyway, and it wasn't just me. George was also doing it, so... I think it was inevitable, really, at that point. Stop faffing. <laughs> right, let's see how full we are. We're not probably full yet. This uh, it's a big trailer like this. It can take quite a bit of this. Before we need to move down, and as you can tell, the pile's not really going down too much. Um, but George's words were, "If you can't shift it on the field, move it down there," which is what we're doing. And I did feel like I had enough time for it before we head out. Hey, up he's here now. Let's just uh, have a quick chat with him. Hey, up, George. You all right, mate? Well, I'm all right, just trying to get past all this. <laughs> I know. It's a bit busy at the moment, isn't it, around here? Oh, it is. How are you getting on? Not too bad. I've just had a quick check. I'm about three quarters full. Oh, not too bad, then. Not too bad. Hey, they did a good job of this, didn't they? Yeah, they did, George. And they did it quick. I mean, what's it been, a week since you even rang them up to ask if they could put some fencing down? And they did it in three days. They really didn't faff about, did they? Hey, maybe you want to take a leaf out of the book. <laughs> well, it looks better. I think it's a cracking idea. We've proper separated off now where we put the cows out. There's a big enough gate anyway for us to get through, so that's not going to bother us at all. Oh, no, ah. Uh, spot on, Scroft, spot on. I'm not 100% certain, though, about that muck heap. I feel like we should have fenced that off as well. Well, to be honest, George, I'm surprised you didn't. I know, but... I feel like it was just going to encroach too much in the field, then, for the cows. Whereas at least now, you know, we've made a bit of room down here for the bales. Well, I'm happy with it. I think it'll be alright. And like I said... It's increased the value, Scroft, and that's the main thing, because we are moving, you know that, don't you? Yeah, I do. I know. I, you, you, I mean, that's not something we're gonna. I'm going to forget easily, let's be honest. Well, I don't know about you. Seem a bit forgetful. <laughs> well, if I'm forgetful, then I don't know what you are. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Nor I said anything. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing with this section over here? 
I don't think this is anything we need worry about. I'm hoping we're gone before we even figure this out. Fair play, fair play. I mean, it's better not have the bales there, isn't it? Because I know what you were saying, the runoff and everything, if it gets wet, you know, it's not a, a good idea. And putting this tarpaulin down in some an area for us to store these bales was a, yeah, it was a good, it was a good shout, George. I don't know, we needed a solution though. We couldn't fit all the bales around the back like we were doing. And I think they are better down here. Yeah, I agree. We've got a few up there though, haven't we? Not many, but a few. Ah, uh, well, we would have these as well on this trailer here, but it's hard to sell them. I know, I know. And I think it's a good idea with the amount of money we're making off bales at the moment. I think that and the milk income, we're not doing too bad at the moment, are we? Well, I have to say, Scroff, it's the best we've ever done. And it's perfect timing. Perfect timing. Especially today when we're going to look at that farm. Time do you want to head out for that? Because I started really early, you know. I know you have. Have you seen the time now? It's only 20 to 7. Well, I thought I'd make a start. Well, you, I know you wanted me to shift some of that muck, so I thought I'll get that shifted now. I'll put that in the pile over there, add to it. And then after that, we're all ready to go, aren't we? Well, I'm ready when you are. You finish up. No rush. I'm going to leave when you're done. All right, then, buddy. I'll uh, I'll crack on. Um, did you decide if we were going in your motor or are we going in mine? Uh, we'll go in mine. We'll go in mine. All right. Then. Yep. No problem. Whatever you want. Ah, uh, we'll go in mine. I don't know what yours break down, and then it'll probably be down to me. Will he fix it? I bet you and Tom Ampty got roadside, have you? Um, maybe, maybe not. Well, that's a body know then, isn't it? You want to get that sorted, scruff? Rush in an old truck break down at any point and I'm not saying it will because they're good motors they're usually reliable but I'll get some roadside especially if we're doing some travelling yeah alright George I'll get some even if it's just for, for now isn't it while we're heading to and from places having a look at farms and so on anyway I'm going to crack on so we can head off I'm quite excited I want to see this farm alright no worries see you in a bit see you George right let's do this we're not doing too bad. Trailer's nearly full. We can head straight into the field after and just drop it off. We don't have to load it, luckily. <laughs> that would be a nightmare. Right, so that is pretty much full of the trailer. So let's just drop this off here and disconnect it. May as well leave it like that. It's a little bit out of the way. I thought it was going to slide down, but we're all right. Yeah, it's nice to have that. I think George has made a good purchase there. I mean, maybe after his first online purchase, he's in the mood. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. But now he's got the uh, desire to keep making more, even though I don't think he did buy that off online. I think he's uh, picked that up from store. Look at this, though. Look at this. Honest to God, George was spot on with his idea of this. This is what the cows need when they come back in. You can see the grass is starting to grow nicely now, and it's not patchy at all. They're going to love being in that. They really are. Well done, George. Well done. Right, let's go uh, tip this into the muck heap and we've made a bit of room. We'll have to sell them bales. We can't do them today, but we will do them soon. Ah, come on, calves. Watch out. I'm coming through. Go on, don't stand there. Go on. This one's got no fear at all. I'm pretty inquisitive. <laughs> well, that's not ideal, is it? What are you lying down for? <sighs> I guess we'll have to wait for this cow move. Nice to be back in the Massey. I do love this tractor. I think it is George's best tractor, in all fairness. I do like that JCB, but she struggled with them bales. She really did. Luckily now, what we've got hold on there, that's not too many. It shouldn't be too bad. Right, so... Hoping we get this right where we want it, right in the middle. There we go. So 
So far, so good. Now, the Massey does just makes easy work of this kind of job. Easy work. Just goes to show how much muck we've got piling up. We really have got too much. Tell you what, these cows don't care, do they? Look at this one. What are you doing? You're literally standing in a pile of your own poop, mate. What's it doing? Ah, oh, well. Look at all the cars feeding at the same time. They're obviously thirsty. And hungry. But yeah, that's the pile we've got now. I mean, there's a lot there. There really is quite a bit of muck to shift. And at least we've got the space for it now. I do like what George has done, though. I have to say it. I think it is a perfect decision he's made. Got a nice flatter area down here compared to there, so the bales are easy to store. They're on tarpaulin, so if it does get wet, they're not sitting in a puddle. And yeah, we've separated it off. So when the cows do come out to graze this time of year, they've got you know a nice area to sit in, which is yeah perfect for them. All right, so let's go take this, bring it back up here. We'll go try and park everything away. I mean, everything should be okay around the back of here, but we are going to be out for a few hours. So, yeah, we definitely want to sort this out. It's all secure. Cows are definitely fine. Check the feed and the water. Pretty decent over there. We'll leave the JCB there as well. That'll be fine. Load all's locked up. Just done that. I think we just need to park this up, check the sheds, and we can get on our way. I am excited to see what George has got planned for us to go visit. He did say it was farm hunting and uh, some of the bricks he's letting me know about so really could be quite a few things but we'll find out. I'm sure of it. Um, let's just have a quick look here now just to see what we've got parked up in this. Got space there. We've got the Ford there so I might put the trailer over here, tracks on the other side, then we can lock the sheds up. There we go. Ah, we may as well put the trailer in there. We're already set up to reverse. I am hoping though, if I could have a perfect scenario now of what this farm will be like. My perfect scenario is going to be that it's got more space, more space, a bigger farm, a nicer, probably open, more open area for the cows. I think that would be spot on as well. So it just means we can expand out. There we go. And if there's a nice little small holding in the in this vicinity that's up for sale, <laughs> or even to lease, I will take that in a heartbeat. That would be perfect. I know I'm not probably going to do that straight away. It's uh, something I'm working towards, obviously, but... Right, let's do that. Turn the beacons off. I'm going to shut it down. Job done. Right, locked up. That one's locked. Just need to do this one. There we go. And I did lock all them up earlier on, so we are ready to go. So let's go knock on, get George, and we'll head out. A little bit gutted that he wants to take the Defender, but it is better. It's a better motor. But I would love to give that a run now. Ah, well, it's George's farm. It's his decision. It's not mine. Come on, George, what are you faffing about at? No. It doesn't usually take this long. Hurry, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your blooming horses. Oh, man. Rushing around for... I'm not rushing, I'm just... I'm ready to go. I've checked everything, locked everything up. I've shifted that one load and mock, so yeah, I'm ready when you are. All right, then. God, calm down. I'm blooming coming now. Ah, jump in, vehicle. Keys. 
Ah, oh, you remember this time. I did. Right, set. Get it started. We'll go in a minute. I'm coming. Trust me. Just get my shoes on. You do know you take forever putting your shoes on. Well, got big feet. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Anyway, this should be fun. We've got all day. It is only early, so we've done well. Come on, George. He's here now. Right, you ready to go then, mate? Well, I'm ready to go. Got everything. Got me flask. You got you got me one. No, I didn't get you one. Did you not get yourself one? Oh, me now, George. Well, I thought you'd get your own. See, that's what happens when you rush about. You need to be prepared, mate. Ah, well, I thought you would have grabbed me one. Well, you'll be a reap. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. I'll have stop on the way. Oh, I haven't got time for stopping. I'm stopping. If you're having a brew right now in front of me, I'm going to stop and get one. All right, then. Right, let's lock this up. Tooty should be fine. Let's go see this farmer. Same way as before then, George. Well, same way as before. You know the way now, didn't you? Uh, I know the way out of Carmson. Um, and I can remember bits of it. If you get, if, if I get wrong, you you can tell me, can't you? I'll tell you. So what's this farm like then, George? Well, actually, there's two. Two farms? I'm looking at two. There's two up for sale, he says. And uh, he said they'll both be spot on for us, so... I thought we may as well go have a look at both, eh? Yeah. So has he organised it and we can just go and have a quick look? Uh, from what he said, they're both empty. So, he spoke to the people selling the farm. And, uh, yeah, we can just show up. So we'll probably be on our own. Well, that's right, isn't it? Well, I don't mind. I'll tell you what, though. I'm having a good look. I want to know what it's like. I'm not going to be faffed about. I know what I want. I know what I'm after. If it ticks all them boxes, well, I'm an happy bloke, Scroft. Right, well, I guess uh, I'll just uh, put my feet on and relax again, like last time. <laughs> I'm not surprised, George, at all. Yeah, you do that, buddy. Sat nav says go this way, so this is the way we're going. Oh, not again. Jesus Christ, George. The last time I shouted, spooked the living life out of him, so I'm not going to do that again. George. 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 Hmm? George. Hmm? George. <laughs> What, what, what are you doing, man? Whispering to me like that. Weird, that is. Don't do that again. Christ. Well, last time I shouted at you, you went nuts at me. Yeah, but I don't want to be woken up by you whispering to me, do I? Oh, God. What are you like? You get weird about the day you do. <laughs> right then. Next time I'll shout then. Well, why don't you just leave me be and let me sleep? Hey, George, look at this forward out here. Oh, wow, look at that. Ooh, nice drop, dude. What did he roll? It's a little hard, aren't he? It's like he's tending to his field. Anyway, come on, stop faffing. Which way are we coming now? I followed Satnav because you're asleep. Oh, I dropped her up here for that. I think that we need to go that way, George. I don't know, I don't know, I'm only messing. I think I remember it from here, George. I think we're right, and then we're on the road, and then it's off. Are we going to Brixie's first, yeah? Ah, oh, we're going to Brixie's first, so I'll have a quick chat with him, just see how he is, and then we'll head off, I guess. We may as well while we're here. So what do you think of this area then, George? Me? I, I like it. Yeah, it's a nice place, isn't it? I said before, it ain't no Carmson, but it's nice, don't get me wrong. I'll, uh, I'll happily farm in here, around this area. Don't mind uh, a farm like, but, yep, yeah, Carmson. Beautiful spot, isn't it, really? It is, ah, you're right. But we know what we're after, don't we? Ah, oh, we know what we're after. Well, I do, don't know about you. Look how long grass is around here. 
Oh no, I did see that last time. Oh, this is a little bit longer. More work for you, that is, Scroft. Faff less. <laughs> yeah, right then. Hey, what's going on here? People everywhere. It's a weird place across the road, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Right, we're here, George. I remember it. Oh, this is it. Head up, park up, we'll give them a shout, eh? Yeah, no worries. Oh, I wonder if we're here too long, Scroft. We're just going to say hello and then uh, we'll head off, mate. Okay, George, there's no rush. I'm happy to do whatever. I mean, I might go and have a quick look at the tractors. Oh, I don't want to start faffing about. We've already bought tractors. We don't need no more. Yeah, I know, but, you know, we're here. Why not? <sighs> well, we'll see how long it takes to you first. Hello there, George. Welcome back. May you see you around here again? Cheers, Brexy. Oh, we're here. Look at them farms, buddy. I've got them, I've got the addresses, but I just thought I'd stop by, say hello, see if I've things are right. Yeah, me, I'm fine. It's good to see you. Well, well, you're here, you may as well make a purchase. <laughs> I'm not buying anything. I'm not spending another penny. Bought enough off you, Bricks. You've got half my money now, you have. <laughs> Always the joker there, George, eh? I don't know about that. Anyway, I'll let you go. I know you've got a few farms to look around, so... Hope everything goes alright. Let me know when you get on. Alright, Brixie. Will do, bud. See you later, pal. See you in a bit. See you in a bit there, Scroft. See you, Brixie. Right. Sure we can't go have a look at them tracks, is George? No, come on. Let's get on. We've got things to do. Far from tractors. You always want to mess about, don't you? Well, I kind of like the look of them, I do, bud. Oh, I mean, you don't like tractors, but we've got things to do. You never know. One day we might be back at Brixie's. Have a look at his tractors, but right now, we're far from that, so let's go. Okay then, George. Do you know where we're going? Uh, I've got a good idea. Two seconds. Uh, stop here a minute. Just stop a second. Let me have a look at this one he's giving me. What is it? Directions? Uh, some of that, but I don't know what it says. Last year. Right, I think I understand it, George. All right then, as long as you do. I guess we'll see when we get there, eh? Or if we get there. Well, I hope we do. Well, it's not too far, the first one. The other one's probably back from where we came in, but this one... I don't think it's too far away, so let's have a quick look, eh? All right, and take your time. Right, I think we're going left here, George. Well, I hope so. Yeah, I'm pretty certain of it. Tight lane, innit? Oh, no, you won't like me meet someone up here. Hey, up, oh, who's that? I think they're pulled over, George. Looks that way, doesn't it? Ah, oh, they are. We can just about squeeze past them. Alright, then. It must be out on the field. I think they are. I can hear someone. Hey, up, George, who's this now? Look at this. Shall we stop? Oh, why not? Is he doing a spot of bailing? I think he is. It's a weird bailer, isn't it? Oh, it's an Eston bail, that is. Scroff some big bales, they are, son. Tell you now. Look at that. Good on him. It's quite a busy place around here. There's a lot of farming going on. I know what. Tell you what, though. We'll be the best ones around if we move it. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. I do like that massy, though. You ever thought of doing square bales? Well, I don't need square bales. Maybe one day, but right now, right. Is this it? No, I don't think this is it, George. Nice little place, though. Hey, I wonder if it's that up there. Could be, you know. Could be. Tell you what, this is uphill now. I know you best put your foot down a bit, get up here. Ah, oh, will do. Will do. I think that might be it, you know, George. Where we get it? Ah, oh, well, there you go. Full sale. That's the one. Ah, right, let's have a quick look up here, then. Ah, right, I'll head up, then, George. Ah, oh, that's it. Head up here. Hey, I tell you what. I do like that. I do like it round here. I feel like we're on top of the world up here, Scroft. 
I don't know. It wouldn't flood up here, would it? <laughs> it wouldn't flood up here, you're right about that. Well, this must be it then, George. But you're right, bud. Right, we'll find somewhere to park up and we'll have a look. Okay, no worries, we'll do. That must be the farmhouse, George. Ah, oh, red door, though. What is red door for? Too bright, that is. I'll paint that first thing. <laughs> right. Let's have a look then, George. I'm behind you. Don't we just head in? Yeah, go on with you. What are you faffing about at? I ain't right, hen. Just checking. I'll head in. What were you for in it? Look around. It's for sale, man. I'll break it in. No, I know. Hey, George, look at that view. Oh, ah. Uh, you're right about that, Scroff. Look at that. I tell you what, George. I would like to know how many acres you comes with this. Ah, oh, it's quite a few. I'll tell you that now. Look at this, George. Plenty more fields to work on, isn't there? I know why, bud. This is what I wanted. Bigger and better, eh? Yeah. I think we can still do this. It's an old silo. Ah, oh, it looks like it. I imagine it still works. Well, I bloody hope so if I'm paying for it. <laughs> what a big yard here, George. Not bad, is it? Oh, it's nice, that is. Must be a cow barn or something. Well, we can keep some animals in here. Looks like they've got a nice pasture there, graze on. Well, that's not too bad, is it? Everything you want, diesel tank, storage areas, and where park the equipment. Actually pretty decent, this is, George. We'll come back to that bit. What's down here? Two seconds. Let me open up and go down, eh? Yeah, there's even more storage area, George. Hey, I think this is a place for some cows or something. Oh, I think so. It looks like it's got a slurry tank just under here. Ah, and then there's a pasture as well. Good size, isn't it? I think I'll be alright. Not bad at all. It's a bit old though, isn't it? A bit rusty. Well, most farms are, George. I mean, can't have a brand new one, can you? What do you say to me? Second hand brand new? I guess that relates to farms as well as it does tractors and equipment. <laughs> oh, it does. Second hand brand new. This must be a place for some muck as well, so I'd say that's more for cows. And you've got area you get in the field on this side. It's not too bad at all, is it, George? More storage area there. Same again here. There's loads to this yard. You can get lost around here, you will, George. <laughs> Hope not. I won't get lost on me in farm. What would that mean? <laughs> ah, it's got plenty of storage, George. I'm just trying to think of it in comparison to our farm. It's definitely a step up when you think about how much space there is. This is crazy. I don't know. I'm worried about price this one, though. How much there is to it? It's can't stop. Well, I think this is what you're after, isn't it? Ah, it is, ah. I agree with you on that, but... I mean, I'm fine. I like to it. Right, well, that's where we started off, so we've just done a loop. All right, then I get you now. I'm with you. And you've got another storage sp point here. Some more as well. I don't know. You, you could do what you want with this place, couldn't you? I know, it opens up the possibilities, doesn't it? Sure does. We'll have a look down there, but I'm just going to go over here, George. All right, and... Hey, George, you got a bunker. Oh, ah. Oh. Looking nice change, wouldn't it? So it's be easier than having round bales. I know. Imagine filling this up with grass silage. Imagine for you filling it up, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you might have to get another farmhand. I ain't getting a second farmhand you too much as it is. Might cost me. Jesus, couldn't handle another one of you. <laughs> well, I guess that's uh, a good thing. I don't know. Hey, George, look at this. Oh, what's that? I think it might be something to do with sheep, you know. Oh, ah. Well, maybe it's a sheep farm and a cattle farm. I mean, now we could have sheep if you wanted. If I wanted, it's up to you, that is. And I've got a feeling you wouldn't want sheep. Well, if you looked after them, I would. <laughs> I've got two other storage places here, which would be perfect for bales, wouldn't it? 
undercover. Oh, what is a newer shed this is. Nice one. Nice shed that is. Oh, well, that's it, George. I mean, unless you want to go look around the fields. Um, I'll probably look at the map for the fields, get a better understanding of size, really. And then if we do decide to put an offer in, we'll have a good look around the fields. But I think I've seen everything I need to see at this farm. What do you think of it? I like it, George. Honestly, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's everything we'd want. More space, more storage space, an extra, you know, animal enclosure, new sheds, bunker. What more do you want? I know what. Well, I'm glad you like it. What about you? Do you not like it? No, I like it. I do, but this is the problem with you. Imagine you going into a negotiation now, like that. You'd hand them all the money you got, wouldn't you? <laughs> I never thought of it like that, George. Yeah, you got downplay it, mate. Downplay it. I'll tell you what I think after I bought the farm. What, this one? No, any farm. Whatever farm we buy, well, after we bought it, I'll tell you what I truly think. Until then, everything's just a rate. You know what I mean? It's just a rate. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, you got it. That's it. A rate. Yeah, a rate then, George. <laughs> Come on, let's go have a look at the other one. I'm behind you. Don't forget to shut the gate. Don't want anything getting nicked off of you if we're going to buy it. They might think it was us. <laughs> right then, George. Come on, let's go. Hey, look at that view, George, coming down here. I oh, know, it's mind-blowing, isn't it? You have to appreciate stuff like that, don't you, Scroft? You really do, buddy. I agree with you there. Nice neck of the woods this is. Hey, look at that there as well. You can see you oversee that. I know why, but can you imagine turning left out of here with a tractor? <laughs> yeah, you definitely uh, you'd have to practice a few times, wouldn't you? I know why. Oh, we are turning left. Yeah, we're going left, George. This is the the way to the next one. That's what he's put down, anyway. Right then. Well, you found the first one, so I trust you found the next one. Ah, uh, hey, just let's just stop here, George, and see if we can have a look at this. Should we get out a second? Well, let's get out. Go on. Let's have a quick look, George. Look at that, George. Look at that for your fishing. Oh, no, oh, look, it's got a bit of a pier going in as well. Is that a boat in the distance, I see? I think it might be, George. I think they might be out fishing there, buddy. Oh, mate, I tell you what, this has gone up a man estimation now. I'm... Can you imagine? Oh, Scroft, I'd have to tell you the truth, though. I'd be out there every day, I would, fishing. Especially this time of year. You'd have run for me yourself. <laughs> I aren't even surprised, but George, look at it. It's insane. Come on, George, let's go see the next one. Nice, though, I have to say. He won a wrong wuzzy Brixie, but can you imagine how much it costs with a view like that? It'll put price up that wood. We're going to have to play it real cool, Scrap, real cool. Right, George, I think we go left here, buddy. Alright, and no worries. Like I said, I trust you know where you're going. I think again, it's left here. I hope so. Seems like this is the way we came in. I know, it's like I said, it was... Uh close to where yeah, it's close to where we started off George in all fairness I don't, don't overtake him yet we're on a bend no I won't don't worry you should know he's a farmer patience with these tractor drivers even though he looks like he's had a few <laughs> he does look like he's had a few doesn't he go on you're good now I know I'm take, I'm doing I'm doing it there we go see that's much safer isn't it Right, George, I think it's first left now. He said first left after that place, so we're over here. All right, and buddy. Hey, up, stop, stop. Someone out in that field. Oh, wow, look at him. Mowing away. Nice oh, set up, isn't it, that? Yeah, they've got some nice tractors around here. I'll tell you one thing, though. I hope they're in another Tony. Couldn't handle another Tony. <laughs> I'm sure there's another Tony everywhere, George. 
I don't want to see that. I don't want to move. I don't want to find another toony moan at me about everything. Well, hopefully you'll be all right. But yeah, he's doing all right job, isn't he? Looks like it's mowing season around here. They're a bit behind us, aren't they? Oh, it looks like it's first cut as well. How long that grass is. They've let it grow, haven't they? I think it just grows quick around here, George. Well, if it does, it means we get more. <laughs> right, there you go. For sale. So this must be it. Farm that, that way. Oh, that's the one. There's an old harvester there, George. Are you sure this is empty? Well, it's supposed to be. Oh. Hey, that's that must be the farmhouse, George. What do you think of that one? It's only got a red door, so straight away. A little bit better, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I think it might be small, you know. Small's not necessarily a bad thing, Scroft. If we get more land and we've got enough space, it's not a bad thing. Right, we're going to have a walk then. Yeah, come on then, let's go. Uh, I guess we'll head round this way, eh? Oh, let me just have a look at this over here. What are we looking at? Nice new shed, that is, again. New shed, Scroft. Aye. You can hear that guy out in his field, can't you, over there? Oh, he's a bit closer, isn't he? I hope he's alright. I don't want bad neighbours now. Nah, we want to get bad neighbours, George. I mean, it looks similar, doesn't it? I think it might be small, though, definitely. Hey, it's got an indoor bunker. Oh, yeah. I mean, that doesn't mean much to me, I'll be honest. Well, it's a good thing, isn't it, George? You should put your grass salad in a bunker and it's not going to get rained on. Well, I'll get that all right, but it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Um, well, it's better to have one with a roof on, obviously. Well, all right, then. Well, there's another pasture here, George. I don't know what you want to keep here. Cows, sheep, anything, really. Oh, well, maybe, maybe. More keep there as well. Better than ours, isn't it? What we got? An hole in the ground, the bottom of the field. <laughs> hey, don't knock it. Works for us. Yeah, I know. Hey, I like this though, George. Plenty of places for calves. Ah, they'd come in handy, wouldn't they? Especially when we're putting them on the bucket. Yeah, there's something for cows here, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely smaller, George, but price-wise, I imagine it'll reflect for that, you know, if you don't want to spend as much. Hey, there's a nice area around the back here for bales. You could probably store some silage bales if you wanted to. Well, that's not too bad, is it? And you've got another silo. I guess most of these fields, there's another storage area down there as well, George. I think both of these farms are spot on. I mean, the other one's picturesque, isn't it, with that view? Right by the lake. Oh, I think you're right. I mean, uh, we keep it between us, but I think the first one was a bit better than this one. I think you're right, George, but, you know, it depends how much it costs, isn't it? Oh, that's true. There's an old barn down here. An old tractor as well, I bet that's derelict. Ah, uh, probably. Right, let's have a look around then. Is that it then? I don't think so. I think there's something else up there. Hurry on. Well, let's have a quick walk up there and see what there is. Ah, I can get me flask out as well. <laughs> yeah, a flask that I ain't got of. Don't worry, Scroft, I got you one. Oh, so you did bring me one? Oh, just pulling your leg. Of course I brought you one. You stupid. <laughs> Well, I'm glad anyway. I like the idea. We can stop up here, ah. Huh? Oh, we as well. Hey, it's nice here though, isn't it? Look at these fields. I do like it. I have to say, yes, it's smaller. The other one's probably better. But it's still nicer, isn't it? You can't beat it being out in the country. Oh, I agree, George. I agree. Are these all the fields included? Oh, I think so, well. You'd imagine, wouldn't you? That's another farm I'd have to drive through your farm. I think there's another field up here, George, with a trough in. Oh, are, is there? I think so. Bloody hell, what's happened to that house? I don't know, but 
I can see you living in there. <laughs> Cheers. Well, you said you wanted a small holding. This is kind of a small holding, isn't it? Hey, that's a good idea, you know. I could buy that farm. I could charge you rent. You could have this, a little small holding. What, and live in a barn? Oh, you'd have to do it all, wouldn't you, with your money? You know, there's grass growing in that. At least it's got a roof, though. Well, there you go, then. What more do you want? <laughs> I'd like a bit of comfort, to be honest, George. I don't just want a roof. Well, you'd have to put it on yourself, wouldn't you? You do you put a roof on it myself. Oh, you can do that, can't you? I'm running nails. You're mental. You're obviously joking, aren't you? Oh, uh, no, but seriously, when you think about it, if I did buy this, why not turn this into your small holding? Yeah, it's a bit of a challenge, but why not? Knock that down if you need to, put a shed in. Convert that inside. You never know, Scroft, you never know. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, look, definitely an area for cows. So actually, if I did have this as a small holding, I could have no cows. Well, there you go, then, see? It's all on the idea, aren't you? Hmm. Maybe. I mean, look at the view, though, again. Nice view. Really nice view, George. I know, well, you can just about make up a truck, you see? I could be down there, you could be up here. You could work for me, but also you'd have your own little place. Yeah, maybe. Well, I guess both farms could work then, couldn't they? I think so, it looks that way. Right, we're going to have this fast then. Take five. Yeah, let's do it. Have a quick look in here, can't I? While you're doing that. Nice spot of the world this is, George, isn't it? Ah, it is. I have to admit, Brooksy's uh, showed us two pretty much decent farms here. Right, here you go, Scroft. Cheers, mate. I'm enjoying this. This farm hunting that you're on about. It's been fun. I agree. I agree. Well, I'm glad we've seen him. It's opened my eyes. I tell you that, it's made me realise I'm making the right decision. We could get so much more, couldn't we? And we could do so much more. It's going to be good, this is Scroft, I'm telling you now. Ah, I think you're right, George. I actually agree with you on this one. I definitely do. So, out of the two farms, anything you want to go for the most? <sighs> too early say that is, Scroft. Too early say. I'll probably get back home. Give it a good think. We've got time to kill still. We've got to get through this year's harvest and everything. And I'm hoping by harvest time, after that, I'll have made a decision. Put an offer in, and who knows? Could be moved out in a couple of months. I think it's achievable. It's going to be hard work. You've seen some of this. These farms, imagine getting up all that, all our equipment up that hill. Um, it's going to be a task and a half. Ah, oh, it is. We can ask for help, we can't we, if we need it. And you can do the majority of it. We'd have to hire someone out, wouldn't we? All it yourself, I think that's the cheapest way to do it. Yeah. We could ask Mick. Yeah. Ask if we can give him a bit of cash and borrow a, one of his uh, low loaders. Ah, uh, Mick could help us out, wouldn't he? Hmm. We'd do it, Scroft, that's the main thing, we'd do it. Anyway, enjoy your brew and take this view in. Yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm.